Got my 100 mile buckle. I'm also on my third cup of coffee uh, for the day, so don't judge me. So first off, I have to address the elephant in the room. Uh, if you are a returning viewer to the channel, you are aware that I had a pretty big run this past weekend, my biggest to date. I was gonna talk about that a little bit in this video, but I really have a lot to say on it, and I feel like uh, a lot of you might be wondering like exactly what I went through and, and how I prepared for that and everything. So uh, I just, I have a lot to say on it. So I think I'm just gonna make a, uh, a full on video for that. Probably gonna post that like right after this, maybe like tomorrow or like if you're watching this, uh, maybe within a day or two of this video's posting. So in today's video, I just wanna go over a few new pieces of backpacking gear. Uh, some of this I've had for a while, some of them I just got and never used. So this is kind of just like a first look. I'm not gonna go in depth uh, over anything here, but we're just gonna go over some things that will be put into rotation with my backpacking gear this year. It's that time of year again, add into the collection, new backpack. So this is a brand new backpack by Waymark Gear. It's called the Mile. Uh, I believe it's like a 28 liter capacity backpack. So it's pretty much like a day pack, but it's uh, big enough that if you have your gear dialed in enough, you could definitely use it uh, for multi-day trips. Uh, I'm really excited to use this backpack. I really like a lot of the features on it. I'm not going to go over it in depth, but basically it's an X-Pack material backpack, which I do not own another one. So it's going to be really cool to uh, get to try out this uh, material because it is waterproof and I've always wondered uh, what it what it's like using a backpack that's made out of this. It's a normal like uh, duffel style backpack where there's no pockets inside, except the zipper's coming back, baby. They have a nice waterproof zipper up top here with an, a little pocket uh, in the front which is really cool. I really like the little bit of extra organization on there. Like I said, haven't used it yet. Uh, probably gonna take it out on a day hike here this coming weekend just to kind of use it. I did actually pack this up and gave it to my crew that will crew me for the 100 miler. I had my light AF pack, my Hyperlite Mountain Gear pack, and this one all filled up with uh, totes with uh, extra clothing, medical gear, uh, food, all that stuff. So my crew was walking around uh, in style with some sweet backpacks at the race. But yeah, just excited about this one. Can't wait to get it out and uh, actually use it. This next one is interesting. Uh, this was not my idea, except I'm gonna give it a whirl. So this, uh, this is a fanny pack. <laughs> If you guys have watched the videos before, I rip on fanny packs all the time. I love ripping on fanny packs. It's all in good fun, but uh, I get hated on a lot in the comments because I've never actually backpacked with a fanny pack or hiked. I, I don't wear fanny packs. This is a Roll Top Dyneema Fanny Pack by Hilltop Packs. Uh, this is actually an interesting one. Uh, it's got some interesting stuff printed on it, and I'm not talking about what you can see here. Uh, once you unroll it, it, it will unveil. And if you guys follow me on Instagram or social media, or if you follow Hilltop Packs, you may have already uh, got a sneak peek of this. Basically, they sent me this. <laughs> it wasn't my choice, but uh, just to uh, appease everybody, I'm gonna give it a try. So I'm definitely going to use the fanny pack on a legit backpacking trip. Uh, so I can further rip on it in videos when I just hate it. This this is funny. The What's printed on this is very, very interesting. But whether you like it or not, I'm jumping on the fanny pack wagon for at least one backpacking trip this year. All right, I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> this is the official Bryce Newbold Signature series fanny pack. I don't know if you can get these. I don't know if you'd make this for other people Honestly, I don't know why you'd want this. But yeah, I can't wait to rock my face out there on the trail with my new fanny pack Next thing on the list are these sandals So I've done a couple like short trail runs and uh, a lot of day hikes in sandals and honestly I wear sandals around everywhere in the summer. That's why these look so dirty I've actually had these for like over a year, but I've always wanted to do an actual like overnight backpacking trip uh, in sandals. These are the ones I'm going to be using for that. I have a, a couple other pair of like hiking sandals. These are made by a company called Earth Runners. These are the Cadence sandals. These are actually not even available yet. And they sent these to me like a year ago to try. Uh, what makes these different than the other sandals that they have, because they do have uh, multiple different styles, are these have like a more thicker, like hiker friendly sole. This is a Vibram sole on there. You can see there's a good bit of meat on these. So it's more like a boot grip. You get all the benefits of a sandal with like 
crazy, crazy good grip. So these are like awesome for water crossings or anytime it's like gonna be a little bit slippery. But like I said, you can see how dirty these things are. I've been wearing these, breaking them in for like a year now. At first they were a little bit, a uh, little bit to get used to. I've never had sandals that went up through the toe like this. Um, but I really, I wanna say I almost prefer, now I'm not 100% on that, but these are definitely gonna be coming with me on a backpacking trip. I wanted to do that trip in the spring. But I think I'm gonna like pair the uh, the sandals with the fanny pack and just go like full on ultralight hiker hipster on a trip. See if I can like actually crank out like 10 to 20 miles uh, in sandals on a trail. A little bit scared about poison ivy. That is my one concern. I, I would totally hike in these in uh, the fall and the spring, but now that it's midsummer. I'm a little bit scared to do it, but I think as long as I'm careful and uh, really watch where I'm stepping, I'm still gonna go for it. And the last piece of gear I'm gonna talk about that's kind of new for 2021, I've already had it out a couple times. I got a lot of, a lot of comments and videos, people wondering um, what it was, and that's gonna be my shelter, my tent for this year. So uh, basically I'm doing a pretty big trip, a um, couple days on the Colorado Trail next month. Actually, it's less than a month away at this point. Um, so I, I have quite a few shelters uh, at this point in my life and the one I'm deciding on is my new one which is going to be the Six Moon Designs Deschutes Tarp uh, paired with the Serenity Net Tent. So it's like a two-piece uh, double wall uh, system when you put it all together. It's new to me. I've used it on a couple trips uh, so far. I'm a little bit skeptical on bringing something out to Colorado that isn't Dyneema because it's going to soak up a lo little bit of water. Colorado's notorious for uh, afternoon uh, thunderstorms, so probably going to get a little bit wet out there. But uh, just the weight, the convenience, and the shelter uh, in itself, I really, really like it. So that that's a new piece of gear that I'm probably going to use um, at least for the rest of this year, I'm going to keep uh, testing out that shelter system because so far uh, I've only had it out a couple times, but I really have enjoyed it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share with you guys uh, some, some new gear that I'm going to be using this year, uh, let you know some of my plans because I really haven't done a whole lot of backpacking uh, due to due to this, this was taking up a lot of uh, time training and stuff for that. If you're interested in how the Mohican 100 went, uh, check out my next video. I will link it up here once I uh, get it uh, up. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna see like pictures and, and stuff from the race, from uh, other backpacking trips and whatnot. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already for more videos like this in the future. Hit that like button, leave a comment below, and yeah, that does it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.